morning, everyone. My name is Ekaterina Stoops, and welcome to this web workshop titled Advanced Session on Collaborate Ultra. Let me introduce our presenter, um, Aaron, oh, not Aaron, Whitney <laughs> Boswell. Whitney Boswell is the Senior Instructional Designer at City University of Seattle. Whitney manages various instructional design projects. Uh, she helps faculty create engaging online mixed mode and in-person courses. She supports e-learning technology and delivers seminars and webinars on using technology in the online classroom. Today, in this workshop, uh, Whitney will show you how to use several advanced features in Collaborate Ultra. To participate in the interactive activities that Whitney prepared for you, you can use the chat and type your questions and comments in the chat box, or you could use your microphones and speak. But when you're not speaking, please keep your mics muted so that we wouldn't get any background noise. And you also, if you choose to speak, please um, raise your hand. This feature is located at the bottom of the screen. So if you raise your hand, this way we will know that you have a question and we will address the question. If you do not have a microphone, you can uh, call into the se uh, session by clicking on the icon that looks like a menu up at the top and then select use your phone for audio. If you have any technical issues dur during this workshop, please let us know uh, and um, you can use the chat box to post a comment. Uh, we have several moderators in this room, in this Collaborate room, and we will help you with your technical issues. And now I will turn it to Whitney. Hello everyone. Hopefully you can see me in the bottom right corner of your screen. Um, I'm Whitney Boswell and we're going to get started. Um, the first thing I want to show you is you'll probably notice if I turn my video off that my profile image becomes visible instead. So I'd like everybody to put in a profile photo and how you do this is first you click on the little purple icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and then you click on the little gear icon that's my settings and once you're there, you're going to see a little profile image at the top. And if you click on it, it will allow you to upload. So you'll see an upload area or you can capture a photo, a photo from your camera right now to use it. And then you can hit save. Yay, Stefani, Sam, looking good. Feel free to turn on your microphone and ask a question if you're not quite getting it. This is Gaynell. I'm just actually trying to find a photo. <laughs> okay, well the other option here is you can capture photo from camera. It should be right below the upload option and it will, it will actually take a photo from your webcam. So you should see my photos change to me and my cube right now. <laughs> Perfect, you know. Um, how about T and Kathy and Gail? Are you having issues or? So we're popping in a profile image into Collaborate. I'll give you another few seconds to either chat or turn on your mic to ask a question if you're not getting it and then we'll move on. Great, I see yours T. Okay, so the next thing that is a great tool in Collaborate is the immediate feedback tool. So you'll notice at the very bottom of your screen next to your microphone, there's a little check mark that's green. If you click on that, you'll actually see some options you have. Um, if you need to step away for any, any amount of time, um, you can, great, Kathy, thanks, You're totally fine. Um, thanks for letting us know. So you, if you need to step away, you can click away and it will show it to everyone else that you're, you're gone. Um, I see Sam is happy and earlier I think it was Gaynell or Gil who was using the uh, agree option 
Um, also, if I go too fast today, feel free to click on the slower icon. Uh, yeah, Gail, go ahead. Well, sorry, I'm just still trying to find a chat area to write instead of okay. because I have background noise. <laughs> All right, so the little purple icon in the bottom right hand of the screen, do you see that? I see arrows, yes. Okay, so click on that. Oh, and then thank you. There's okay. a little chat bubble. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so that little agree, fast or slower, feel free to use those throughout the session today. Um, if you feel comfortable using those, let's say put in a surprised look for me. So go ahead and click surprised. Yeah, gain has got it. T's got it. So another thing you can see with this is if you open up the participants panel, so just like um, I was telling Gail to open to the chat, if you click on the collaborate purple panel to open it up, the second one over is the attendees. And at the very top of attendees, you'll see there's three surprised faces. So it'll actually count them up for you what is there. Uh, so you don't have to be looking uh, through the list. But you can also see in the list, your profile picture will change to your feedback icon. And it lasts for about 30 seconds. So it gives you a good uh, monitor of where people are at. Yes, okay, now. Whitney, I clicked on the purple area there to open a panel, but I didn't see the list of the expressions. I didn't. Okay, then let's try this again. So are, do you have the list of attendees up? So you see like the moderators and then the participants? No, I don't have those. Okay, so are you in the chat? I don't think so. Okay. I'm not so, sure. <laughs> so on the bottom right hand corner, what do you see? A little purple icon with arrows? In the bottom I have like a purple icon with an X and then I see like the setting, the wheel in the box with the arrow going to the right and then I see that there's a group of people it says 10 and then I see the little um, bubble, you know, the conversation okay. bubble. Yeah, so the conversation bubble is chat, and oh. right to the right of it, the one that says 10 with the people, if you click yeah. on that, okay, that's where you'll see the list of people. Okay. And so okay. everyone, if you'll turn and do another, anyone you want, happy, surprise, slower, faster, okay. and you'll see mine went red in my little person. And T's is a happy face, Gail's is a happy face, and up at the top you'll see that there's three happy faces now and one uh, disagree. So it'll, it'll consolidate all of the options that people are doing up at the top. Can you see that now? And I see a happy face and a microphone Perfect. and my name. <laughs> yeah, so that means the microphone's on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so that's another thing you can see from the attendees list is if people's microphones are on, if they're uh, going up and down, you'll know that they're speaking. Um, and then the other thing you can see here we'll get to later is a poll question. So if you're giving a poll to your students in Collaborate, uh, you can actually see which option they chose um, in that participants list. Okay, so in this webinar, we're going to learn about some of Collaborate Ultra's tools, practice using some of those tools, and also brainstorm a new strategy for one of your Collaborate sessions. So first of all, what tools have you either used in Collaborate or have you heard about? So we're going to use one of these tools to do this. So I would like you to write on the page. And what you're going to do is up at the top, there's a little T. So right where that green arrow is pointing up, there should be a T icon, which is text. And then two to the right of that will be colors. So it'll give you a color palette. So I'm going to choose orange. And if I click anywhere on the screen, I can then, um, and then once I hit enter, everyone else can see it. 
So go ahead and type in any tools that you've either used or have heard about in Collaborate. All right. <laughs> it looks like there's a lot of people here that haven't really used it all that much. So I might keep this a little bit more basic or what you want to see. So I'm going ahead and go to the next slide. And this is the possible tools that is missing a bunch of them. Let me grab them. So some of these are sharing your desktop, which is really great for um, sharing like a Word document, sharing the course, so you can see what's in the course and show students where things are, which is really helpful when you do like an intro to class webinar or a collaborate session to kind of show students where things are, get them acclimated to the, to the course. And I'm going to try and type these in here. Ooh, that's lovely and very long. Um, someone wants to type those into different things, but basically we have um, sharing a blank whiteboard, drawing on the screen, which you've already done, uh, sharing a PowerPoint, a PDF, an image, uh, zooming in on something being shared, switching between uh, the webcam and what's being shared. So I'm going to go ahead and share my video so you can try that one. So you should see me in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And if you click on me, so if you click on me now, I'll become very, very large, much to uh, my chagrin, but you'll be able to see me. Um, and then to see the PowerPoint screen again, you can click on the PowerPoint that's now down in the bottom of your screen, and that will bring that back up. So if you want to toggle between seeing, you know, the person, especially if it's like um, we had a faculty meeting last month with, with, you know, the president spoke and a bunch of other people spoke, and if you wanted to see them a little more clearly, you could click on their, uh, the video file and have that become big and then toggle back to the content. Another thing you can do is polls, and we'll get to do one later. Um, you can also change users' roles mid-session. Yeah, Sam, go ahead. Question? What does it mean zoom in on something being shared? This is not talking about Zoom uh, video conference. Just the zoom in and zoom out, you are talking about that. Yeah, so zooming in, zooming out. Let me share um, something that might be a little hard to see. Um, do, do. Okay. So I'm going to share um, a PDF, and you may not be able to see the words very well because they're, they're small. Yes, so Gail, you're exactly right. So that is how you zoom in, zoom out. So at the very top left of your screen, there's three dashes for the session menu. Right below that is a little box with a magnifying glass on it. And if you click on that, you'll actually see a plus a zoom in sign and a minus a zoom out sign. So you can zoom in as far as you want so you can actually see those tiny little details. And then if you want to go back to what it was originally, you can hit the one, one to one or the best fit. Did that, that answer your question, Sam? Thank you. I got it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. So I'll share my PowerPoint again. Okay. So then other options are there's a timer, which we used at the start of the session. Um, you can follow the speaker. Um, so if you're having a discussion, you can have um, whoever's talking be the largest screen uh, when you're having the discussion. And then 
Um, you can also have different types of chat. So let's try that one out. So for example, if you have a student who's struggling in the session, you can start a conversation just with them. So on that purple icon panel, if it's closed, you'll click on the two little arrows at the bottom right to open it up and you have the bubble and you have the participants and the other two options. Click on the bubble and if you see, say, my comment here, hello, then you're in the everyone chat. So everyone can see this chat. And at the very top, there's everyone. So it's, it's the everyone chat. If you click on the little uh, left hand arrow to that, it'll take you to the previous channel. And you can actually find someone to chat with. And I'd like you to try this out. So go ahead and type in someone's name um, and find them. So I'm going to type in Gail's name click on Gail and then I'm going to say hi to Gail individually. So what it does is it takes just me and Gail and gives us an individual channel in which we can chat um, without being as part of the main chat. Okay, so you're both commenting in the everyone chat. So go ahead and click on the top left of everyone so at the very top of chat is an everyone. And then there's a left hand arrow. And go back one. Yeah, it looks like Sam started one with Kathy. T and Gail. Excellent. Another way you can start a chat instead of typing in names to the chat is if you open up that participants list. There you see everyone's name and the far right there's three dots and if you click on those dots you can send a chat message. So if I want to send a chat message to Brian I'm going to click on those three dots next to his name in the attendees list and then I'm going to say hi Brian. So it's a nice little tool to be able to talk to individuals within the session. Excellent! Looks like you're all trying it out. Okay, so the next thing I'd like you to do is um, using the little pencil tool up at the top of the screen, just like we use the text tool, the T, there's a little pencil. And if you click on the pencil, go ahead and circle one of the tools that you'd like to show today, you'd like me to show, that you'd like to learn how to do. So like if you want to see a blank whiteboard, go ahead and circle blank whiteboard like that. Right, so I'm going to show blank whiteboard because that's pretty simple. I'm going to share how to upload PDF, PowerPoints, and images to the session. And then also uh, how to do a poll. Anyone want to learn how to share your desktop? That's the very top one. Go ahead and circle that one if you want to see it. And any others? There's also a timer. Um, go ahead and type timer with the little T icon to type in the name if you want to see that. Um, what else did I did not get on the screen? I think that's all that we haven't done so far. Timer. Okay. Great. Let me... So what I'm doing right now to help me in this session is I'm going to take a screenshot of this so I have a note of what I need to share. And if you're ever doing this with a class, that's a helpful tool so that um, when I go to the next screen, all of this will disappear and it's not going to save. So now I have copied this image into a Word document on my desktop so I can go back and forth and make sure I cover everything that you guys want to see. So. Um, I'm actually going to show some of these things first to you since um, a lot of you haven't ever used or have used Collaborate uh, not very often. So what I'm going to do is share my screen um, and what you'll notice the first thing when I share my screen is that it's this lovely mirror image and that means it's working. Don't, don't freak out, it's fine. And then what you want to do is just navigate to what you want to show people. Um, but today I want to show you 
um, how to do some of these options. So if you are, and let me uh, merge this, okay. So if you're in the Collaborate section and you open up this panel and you go to um, the Share Content icon over here, um, it gives you a bunch of options you can use, and these are all tools within Collaborate. So the first one is Share Blank Whiteboard. So I'm going to um, actually do one thing first. So one of the things you can do is you can promote someone within the session. So you'll notice that there's moderators and there's participants. So participants, you won't be able to see these options. Um, but as moderators, you can. So what I'm going to do is anyone willing to test out sharing the whiteboard, and I'll make you a, a not a moderator, but a um, presenter. Thank you, Michelle. Um, Sam, great. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click next to your name, and I'm going to make you a presenter. So you'll pop into a new category. And now, Sam, when you go to share content, you're going to be able to see uh, these options. So go ahead and click share blank whiteboard, and it will take over the screen. Yeah, great. So now you can all draw um, and use whatever you'd like to uh, do with the screen. So what a, a good option or activity for this is if you have um, groups or people within the session uh, with your students that you want to do something like an activity with, you could say, okay, um, let's see, who is this? Sam and Kathy could be in this group and uh, Gail and T could be in this group and Michelle and Enel. Woo! Could be in this group and say, put your favorite um, color in your your square or uh, summarize what we just talked about. So you could have them do that kind of activity right on the board. And you'll notice that someone uh, hit a little icon that means it's going to clear the whole page. So you want to be sure to mention not to do that when you're doing an activity. Yes, yeah, Sam, go ahead. Sam, did you have a question? You're talking, we can't hear you. You might need to put on your mic. Oh, yes. Actually, uh, I did raise my name and to clean up screen, and I pressed it. Uh, Okay, yeah, and I think that Gail and Gaynell and T cannot clear the whole screen because they are participants. Um, but I'll show you actually, if you want to start writing and drawing again, I'll show you how you can just delete one thing versus the whole thing. So if I do our square again and say each of you gets a square, um, let's do... Uh, Gail and Nell, whoa, and T and Sam. So go ahead and start uh, typing or drawing in your square. <laughs> Who did that? Okay, so if I had drawn in some in a place and then I wanted to uh, get rid of just one thing, what you can do is click on the little pointer. So it's a select icon, but it's a typical pointer. So in that list of tools up at the top where you have the pencil, the little pointer, uh, or the hand, and then the pointer, if you click on that far left icon, um, then you can click on one thing. So I'm going to click on the yellow circle, and then I'm going to hit delete just on that one item. And then it goes away. So go ahead and click on, no, oh, someone did the whole clear the screen again. Um, so let me share my screen, maybe. Yeah, Sam, go ahead. I to delete the mind, selected that, and press the uh, erasure button. Then it disappeared. I think, uh, okay. what did I want? I selected okay, it. Let me, okay. yeah, let me show you. I just need to do, do. 
open up another thing because it won't let me share and share at the same time. Okay, so you'll see me joining another Collaborate room so I can share and show you at the same time. All right, so when I click on the panel and I go to share content and then I go share blank whiteboard, Okay, so now I've got my whiteboard and let's say I'm typing my text here and then I click out and I do um, eclipses and then I want to get rid of my text. What I do is I go over to this icon here and click on it and then I can click just on this and delete on my keyboard and then that one thing is gone. Um, then another thing you can do with that is if you click on it you can actually change the shape of things so if you want your text to be bigger you can click on the very corner of it to make it bigger and then you can also move it around so if I want to move this over here and this is too big for me now so I'm going to make it smaller I can do that with this icon here and then if I want to delete it I click on it and you'll see that it's blue highlighted and then if I delete it on my desktop it's gone just that one thing and then for those of you who can't see this icon is to clear the entire screen so you'll see it looks kind of like a little eraser so if I click on that then everything is gone go ahead Sam oh individual uh deletion we have to use a delete key that's why i got confused i yeah usually the, our drawing tool erase we, we can select the one we can erase it here no uh -huh. use it just select it delete the key that's what i love correct yep exactly cool okay so that is the whiteboard yeah gay now so just to clarify in order to um be able to have those tools to use you have to be a moderator, is that correct? When you're sharing your whiteboard? Or can you just be so, a participant? Like the tools that you just use? Yeah, right so the, they are available to everyone in the session regardless of their... Um, so you can be a participant role. and still have access to those tools? And correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, to these tools up here. Right. Um, but not these tools here. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So another thing is sharing your uh, uh, your desktop, which I am doing right now. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that in Firefox within this browser here. So what, once you're a uh, presenter or a moderator, you can share application screen. So if I click on this, it's going to say just an application, an entire screen. I typically like to do entire screen because sometimes just an application, it will close it out if you move to a different application. So I just do an entire screen. It's screen. And then in Firefox, every uh, you can only do this in Firefox or Chrome, and they do it a little bit different. In Chrome, you need to download an extension. It takes really like 10 seconds to do it, um, but in Firefox, it's just automatic. You choose which screen you want. So you'll see I have two screens. If you just have one screen, that's fine. It will just have one option. But I'll choose uh, screen one and it will give me a preview of what that screen is. And then if I hit allow, it will start sharing. And you'll know it's sharing when it gives that lovely mirrored effect there. And then I can say, let's, it's a course and I want to show you that course I would go into you know welcome to this course let's go look at where the assignments are make sure you know how to get to it make sure you know how to submit to it um, you know this is how you take a test this is how it looks like um, here's where to find your course information and your syllabus um, things like that or you know here's how to find collaborate Quick Links Collaborate, and then Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. And then in uh, every course, 
there is a course room for Collaborate that will be at the top eventually. So you'll see um, my workspace has my course room. So, and I'll actually use this for like office hours. If I have office hours, I will send uh, the guest link to students so that all of my students in every that span every course can come to the same Collaborate room for office hours. And to do that, on the far right, there's three dots. And then um, you can copy guest link. And if you edit the settings, you can make sure that guests come in as a certain role. So say you want all your students to come in your, your room as a um, participant. So you want to make sure it says participant, and then you can copy this link. And you take that link and put it in your, um, like I have it, I believe, in my um, faculty information. So when they want to join, they would go to that link. Uh, there we go. So link to my virtual office. And um, yeah, so that's how you use that. So would anyone like to volunteer uh, to share their desktop? I'm sorry, Gaynell, did you have a question or is that from earlier? Earlier. OK, thank you. All right, anyone willing to try out sharing their desktop? Would you like to? Or do you have a question? I need to turn on your microphone. I will do. OK. So what do I have to do? Okay. Publication screen, click. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'll make you a presenter again, and you'll need to go to um, that share application screen. But I'm using the Chrome, so check it out, web browse. Uh, yeah, so same, it'll work, just a tiny bit different. So click share application screen, an entire screen. But I'm using Chrome, okay. That's all right. Once you hit entire screen, it's going to come up with a box that says add extension, extension to Chrome. Yes. There you and you'll want to hit yes, and then you'll want to hit add. Yes, I did. And then once you do that, you'll have to click on share application screen again. And then entire screen again. And then choose the screen, and then it should work. Okay, just one more time. Yes, I did. I followed. And then go back again. Why I'm getting try again, again. Yes, okay, let's try again. Okay, I got it. So. Excellent. Yeah, I can see it. it is. Okay, this is my current course, Capstone. Okay, can you see the my Capstone class? Yes. Okay. I can. Yeah. How about you, Gaynell, Gail? You can yes, do I, I, saw it. Yeah. I saw cool. it. Thank you. Then can you see the my I chose the my this one. How can I you see the, I have to select one, right? Mm. So we're seeing it, your screen as it is now. So when you move to Blackboard we see what you see. Okay. So we see you welcome back week three. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Monday, October fifteenth. Hi students, we see that. Okay, then go to the course tool. Uh, if you want to, yeah. Then, what do I have to do? Uh, you could click on Blackboard Collaborate Ultra if you wanted. You could click on um, Assignments, but this one's a easy one. So if you wanted students to use this session, you could show them how to do it here. Um, you could create a session at a specific time. Okay. And you would name it, you'd give it a start date, hmm. an end time date. Okay, let's see. No. It'll need to be a day that's in the future. Okay, let's say, okay, I'll set up that. Let's say the economy or And, and, okay, and say, wow, well, something else. Uh, you'll need to give it a name at the very top. Okay, 
this. Yep. Save. Yep. And then if you scroll down, there's a bunch more options. And if you ever want to go back and change those options, you can click on those three dots next to it if you hover over it. And then edit settings. So there's a bunch more settings you can set if you want. Um, if you scroll down to session settings and open it up, you can allow it to be downloaded, you can choose what role the students come in as, their participant, um, you can see if they will see that share audio, video, chat, draw on the whiteboard are available, and then uh, chat is also the extra chat is available, and then if you hit save, then those are all be saved. Okay, there you go. Then how can I put into the my uh, info, uh, what packet information? How can I do it? Ah, um, so That's that you would want to do with your my your course room and your my workspace, which maybe we can take that offline because I think I'm hitting up against my time today. Okay, go oh, it's okay. Okay, stop sharing. Yep, that's exactly how you stop sharing. Okay. Excellent. Okay, right. so other other things you wanted to see. Um, let's do share a PowerPoint. So let I'll show you how to. <coughs> do that. All right, so I'm going to share my screen over here, and now you should be able to see it. And just below the share application and whiteboard is share files. And right now, the only files you can share are images, PowerPoints, and PDF files. So you click there, and then you click to find what you want. Um, so if I want to share the one we're doing today, would be um, this one, and you'll see it takes a minute to upload it. But once it's there, you're going to hit share now. So now when I hit share now, it's going to give me all the files here. And I'm going to scroll down to choose the next one I want to show. Um, oop, this is actually a different side. <laughs> then it will show that particular page so I don't have to start at one again and then go through them. Um, Gaynell, would you be willing to um, share a share the already shared um, or share the PowerPoint file that's already in this session? I'll, I'll, wa I'll walk you through it. I'll try. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to make you a presenter. And now when you go to the box with the arrow coming out of it, um, you should see share files as the third one down. Yes. And if you click on share files, uh, there should be a CSI presentation uh, deck. Share now. And, it, and if you click on it, share now. And then you choose, um, if you scroll down and maybe choose the, the brainstorm or the poll. How about the poll? Excellent. Yep, exactly. Um, so this is a poll, and I'm going to have you fill it out. So you'll notice on one of the options, and why not have you do it as well, Gaynell? So if you hit the back arrow to take you back to the options in that content area, uh, sorry, in um, the where. It, where it has the list of options of uh, slides. At the very top, there's a little arrow back to go to content again. And then you'll see the blank whiteboard, the share application, share files, polling. Do you see that? 
Is it where it says navigate slides at the top? Yeah, at the sure. very left of that. Should be a little arrow going back. Okay. And it has and then, listed, I have highlighted the CSI presentation. Okay, go okay. back one more at the very top. Where it says primary content? I don't know if I'm uh, in the yeah. Spot. Okay. Yeah, so secondary content right below that, there's polling. I don't know Do if I'm in the that? right spot. No. Okay. I'm in the it area where it says, it says share content and then it says primary content. So I guess I need to do share files again. Right? Uh, no, nope. I just made you a moderator. So now you should see polling, I think. Mm, no, I don't see it. Okay. At the very bottom, click on the little people icon. Okay. And then click back to the the to the arrow uh, with a box coming out of it, or the arrow coming out the of the box. box. With the arrow coming out of the box. Yeah. Now I see. Okay, secondary content go. holding. Mm -hmm. so I click on so that. You, yep. And then click on three choices. Since up on the screen we have three choices. And then hit start. And now everyone else should see um, three options. So go ahead and choose one of them. Which tool is your favorite so far? Writing on the screen, or sorry, immediate feedback is number one, writing on the screen is number two, or sharing your desktop is number three. So go ahead and Gaynell, if you click on the little people icon, you're actually gonna see the answers that people are doing. Um, and only you as moderators can see it. And then if you'll notice, Gaynell, at the bottom of the responses, there's the show responses with a little I. And if you click on that, it will actually show all the participants the answers of what people chose, not specifically, but in general. So that's a great way to, you know, if you're going through some lecture piece to bring in, okay, let's think about this, let's have an answer, you know, and kind of prompt a discussion about what you're talking about. And then Ooh. to end it, you just hit the little stop icon at the top of it. Is that the X you mean? Uh, right to the bottom of that, there's a circle with a square in it. Okay. Yep, and then it's gone. So um, I think we are at questions and at time. Uh, any questions? Great questions throughout the whole session. That was great. Um, if you want to stay after and I can make you a moderator and you can kind of see what those tools are, I'm happy to do that. Um, but that is all for me and I'll stick around if you have questions. <laughs>